Hi, my name is Marcus from crosstech.de and today I want to show you the uh, Mailchimp int uh, integration with freezing forms. The Mailchimp integration is available for all three modes, but in this example we use the quick mode. So let's create a form, add a new page and a new element that's supposed to be the uh, add email address element. Add email. Then we give it the name, my email. Save the form. Then we go to the Forms Advanced tab More Options because here we have the Mailchimp area and um, here we have three mandatory fields which are the API key, the list ID and the name of the email field which is the name that we just created, my email. Uh, the API key you can uh, get it from Mailchimp.com after registration and login you find it under Account, API keys and info. Then just copy and paste it here. And the next mandatory field is the list ID. Um, the list ID is available after we created a list. So let's create one. The list will be my first list. Default phone name is Crosshead Solutions. Default email address is no reply. And default subject is my first newsletter. And the run reminder is just a reminder. <coughs> so when we enter the list details under settings, in the bottom you find the unique ID for the list, and this is the list ID which goes here. Then we save everything. And now I want to subscribe to that list. Enter an email address. And here you see, please confirm subscription. Et voila, subscription confirmed. When we go back to the list, we see we have one new subscriber. And here he is. Let's delete the subscriber for the next test because um, there is one feature that you would like um, to have. Um, usually you want to add a checkbox to let the user decide if he wants to subscribe to your newsletter or to your newsletter list. So um, we're going to add that now, new element, checkbox, asking subscribe to our newsletter. We call that field subscribe, saving it and in the integration we have to tell the integration the name of the confirmation checkbox, uh, which was um, subscribe. So what we do now is, instead of checking this checkbox, I want to show you that um, we uh, won't get a confirmation uh, email. As you can see here, there is no new con uh, please confirm subscription message, so it obviously works. And now we check this checkbox and you see that we have to, or that we <laughs> are able to uh, subscribe. So, but there is another feature that I would like to show you, but before I probably should better delete this guy again. Um, sometimes you would like to um, to, um, to show um, values that have been uh, filled in with the form uh, in the newsletter and MailChimp has a nice uh, feature for this. It's called um, the list fields and merge tags which is here. And what we do now in our next example is we uh, add a first name and the last name uh, field to our uh, form. And um, what I do here now is I enter the name of these fields. These are basically the same names that you uh, would give the, um, the elements in your form. Um, and these uh, field names uh, are case sensitive and um, because uh, MailChimp only accepts uppercase uh, letters here 
we have to um, define them uppercase in our form as well. So let's do that. Let's create the first name field, uppercase. Then we add a last name field, uppercase. And in our integration, we have to tell the integration uh, what fields it should try to pass to MailChimp, which we just did. Um, now let's test it. Using forms and then first name and last name. And there is a new confirmation. We will accept it. And when we go back to our list, you'll see that it passed the first name and last name to our subscriber. So that's basically it, but there is just one uh, bonus left. Um, you can let uh, the user decide uh, what time, type of newsletter the, uh, um, the user uh, would like to receive. Um, possible uh, types are uh, plain text, HTML newsletter or uh, newsletters uh, for mobile devices. Um, for that we create a select list element. Um, let's call it type. And as well use, there should go text, HTML, and mobile. And exactly that, these values. So let's create labels here. Let's move this one up. Untitled element, give it the title type. So in the advanced step, more options, we finally have to tell the integration the name of the type selection, which was type. Then we'll save it. Oh, before I should better delete this guy. Okay. So we can add a new subscriber. Now I choose HTML. Text is by the way default. So here we got a new confirmed subscription. And as you can see, the, um, the um, email is already in HTML. So it obviously worked as well. And when we check. He has been subscribed, everything is okay and working and yeah, that's it basically. I hope I could give you a nice insight in how the uh, major integration with Breezing Forms works and um, yeah, I wish you a lot of fun with it. Bye!